In a while, yeah, you were impressed. Couldn't leave me alone. Text me every time. Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hi. Listen, disclaimer I am in the process of putting dreads in my head, and it's taking forever for me to braid this shit up, so shush, okay? Shush. So, if you are here and you're wondering what, what are you doing today? So today, I'm going to be reacting to some of my old Facebook photos, and we're going to be reacting together. So if you want to see what I used to look like, stay tuned. So this first photo um, was taken on my birthday, and as you can see, I got this big, gigantic ass Diana Ross wig that my mother hated <laughs> and she hated it so much but I was in love with this wig like as soon as I seen it at the hair store I was like "Ooh, I want that I want that one and I put it on I took it I bought it and this was actually my birthday week and I had bought this and I, t I brought the wig and this was a lace front wig like my very first lace front wig right and I brought it out the store and it, ha it still had the lace on it and I had an outfit on that it was it was you know it was regular and I had one of them beanie hats on right and <laughs> so as soon as I took the wig out the pack no, I brought the wig. I went to McDonald's bathroom. I took the wig out the pack, threw the pack in the garbage, and put the wig on, not knowing that I had to take the lace, I had to cut the lace off. So I said, I'll do it later. I'll do it when I get home. I slapped the wig on, took the tag off, put my hat on, walked outside. That wig is as big as it looks in the picture. Like, it's huge. It was huge. It was ugly. It was ugly, and I wore it because I thought it was cute. And I went to school on my birthday, and the girls knew it was my birthday. I didn't even have to say anything. And the reason why they knew it was my birthday is because when you have big hair, or if you got like on a like a bomb dress, or like your hair, you, you got a wig on, like a bomb wig, or like a big wig, they know it's your birthday. So. I didn't have no balloons with me that day. Nobody brought me balloons. I just had on my dress, like my cute little short dress and my wig. And everybody knew it was my birthday. And I was just feeling myself that day. Mind you, that day I was also on punishment. I think, yeah, as usual, not doing what I needed to do in school. So I got on, I was on punishment. And um, this picture was taken on my laptop at the time. Actually, yeah, it was. Because I took the picture on Uvu. All my old Uvu people, hey. So I took the picture on Uvu. And it was a quick picture. Because my mother was getting ready to come home. And I had to put the laptop down. <laughs> and I was like, ooh. I thought I thought, I really thought I was cute. I really thought I was the cutest thing on earth. But now looking at this picture. That, sh that wig is ugly. <laughs> that wig is ugly. No. No. No, period, who? No, 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 no. So, let's go on to the next picture. So, this next picture is of me and my best friend at the time. We went to prom together. So, here's the backstory to this. So, I had a boyfriend at the time, right? Who... Now I know who his sister is, my sister's best friend. Didn't know her prior to him. Um, I knew her when he talked about her, you know, when she was at my sister's 16 or whatever. So I went to my sister's best friend. I was with my sister's best friend's uh, brother at the time. And we were planning on going to my prom together, right? But... I 
lot of things happen. I was in a relationship with him. I was in a relationship with somebody else. But I was just like, I had broke up with both of them on AIM. Okay? So, I was like, so, I don't want to go by myself. My best friend is going, but I don't know who she's going with. She didn't have a boyfriend at the time. Actually, she did have a boyfriend at the time, but, you know, she's Caribbean. Her mother was playing that. So, I came up with the idea, the idea of coming, going to prom with her instead. So, we decided to go to prom together. So, and this was months before prom even was um, coming around. So, and that was a stressful that was a stressful year. Senior year was just a stressful year because, like, I had to pass all my exams and stuff like that. It was just freaking aggravating. So, prom season was coming around. I went to a store called Estelle's. That's why, and I love this dress. I can't fit it no more, obviously. But I went to a store called Estelle's located in Long Island. I don't know if they still have it there. But we was looking around, looking around for dresses and looking around. And I couldn't find nothing because I'm 5'1". And I can't wear dresses that are like all the way down to the floor because I will fall. Right? So I was like, what dress can I get? And I seen this dress here. I was like, okay. <laughs> Alright. I like this. It was cute. It was a cute little hook top. It came with a shawl. But prom night was so lit that I left it at prom <laughs> it was literally lit like I was lit so so I don't know this day was just a really good day <laughs> like everything worked out fine I got my hair done I got my nails done my hair came out perfectly this hairstyle was actually inspired by a photo from Kelly Rowland she had the same hairstyle in a, in a photo, and I wanted that hairstyle because it looked so nice with the dress. It was a whole top dress, so I wanted something that wasn't going to be all over my shoulders and stuff like that. So I got that done, and I was just feeling myself that day. My makeup was on point. I got it done at MAC and Macy's. It was so lit. I was so hyped that day. I was so hyped. Oh, and then we took my, my, neighbor, my neighbor's son had took us to prom he drove us to prom and we had um it was this no no i'm lying that was my eighth grade prom we took no we took a car we took one of them 777 cars <laughs> one of those cars one of the 777 cars and it was so lit i do regret not going to after party though but i got a wear out of this dress though and it was lit and i was thick at the time I was thick thick like I was thicker than this like I was I was slim thick actually I had a nice little stomach nice little shape it was cute so and I missed that dress actually I still had the dress it's in my closet I just can't fit it because you know I didn't have a baby six years ago and I never lost weight so that dress is a no-go <laughs> So let's go on to the next photo. This next photo is from my senior trip. And this was the night that we was all getting ready to go out. The senior trip was uh, located uh, actually a couple of hours from where I lived. Um, now, was it up Was it up here or was it in Pennsylvania? I don't know. It was somewhere, I think it was up here. So um, here's a little backstory to that. I don't even like these girls. And I don't care who else sees this. I, I didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. These, so the, the word thought came out during this year, <laughs> my senior year. And that's exactly what they were. <laughs> they wanted to be out there. I'm not even going to hold you. I wanted to be accepted so bad in their little clique or whatever like that. They wasn't even a clique. They didn't even know each other until, like, prior to the senior year, right? Because my school, the way my school was built, we were on different, like, levels. So everybody didn't know each other like that. So these, I was in a room with three other girls. We 
because the the girls from my class didn't want to go to senior trip and I was pissed because I'm like why not so the a few girls from my class didn't want to go so they put me in a room with these girls or whatever like that these girls come to find out we talked about me we talked crazy about me or whatever like that um and this shirt that you see first of all the shirt didn't even go like that you see a little bit of belly it don't go like that i just wanted to be accepted i just wanted to be a part of something because i was in a room with these thoughts so i wanted to be cute too i wanted to be a thought <laughs> so i took my shirt and i just went just like that the shirt was a bubble shirt that actually just poofed out like this and i just wanted to be accepted and i really don't know why I really don't know why. Actually, my senior trip, I just was pissed the entire time because I really wanted my hair done, too. But my mother was like, no, you're going to go in there with that drawstring ponytail and fix your bang and you're going to be all right. <laughs> and that's what happened. So, yeah, senior trip was, I mean, I, I no. If I, if, I, if I can do it all over again, it probably be, would not be with these girls, the girls that I was in the room with that I had to room with didn't like them at all was not pleased was not pleased at all so yeah that was a this yeah. next photo was taken yeah my senior year the majority all of these photos were taken my senior year so this last this next photo I was going through like the eyeliner phase i wasn't fully into makeup at this time but my eyeliner was on point though and my lip gloss was popping okay so this day i don't know this day i was just feeling myself i had this nice white tee on with my skinny jeans and some sneakers and my little beanie the beanie that i was telling y'all about that went, that i put on with my wig <laughs> but I don't know. I went through a phase in high school where one day I was feeling hood. The next day I was feeling like, I don't know, like emo. <laughs> but I don't know. This day I was feeling myself. And I look good. I ain't gonna fret. I look good in this picture, okay? With my little duck lips. My duck lips were cute, okay? Because the lip gloss was popping. Next to the going going on to the next picture here we go again with the duck lips okay this is another picture from my senior trip we were getting ready to go out to the same little club thing that they had or whatever and this day i had on this dress it was like it was like a t-shirt dress that i wore leg and day and um yeah i thought i was cute and here go those duck lips again i did the duck lips <laughs> throughout high school <laughs> throughout high school and I just was like now that I look at it I'm just like ew 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 I don't for some reason I hate my pictures from senior trip because like I didn't I didn't like the way I looked I looked mad like dusty <laughs> I don't know ew them duck lips and if you still do duck lips in 2019 something's wrong <laughs> Nothing is wrong, but my duck lips. <laughs> no, no, cut it out. Like, ill temperance. What are you doing? Ill, ill. Let's go on to the last photo, please. So this last photo was taken the summer. A couple of months before I started going to college and I was really stressed out and one day I decided to cut my hair now me and my mother had this conversation prior to me doing it and we had a conversation about what styles I wanted to get I wanted to get the Khalees style that's what I really wanted when Khalees had her hair, the way she had her hair cut with the soup or whatever. And um, that didn't work out that way, as you can see in this photo. I'm going to insert a picture of Khalees' 
hairstyle versus mine. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I wanted the bossy cut and I got a 1967 Supreme cut. So the person that did my hair. Okay. So. So. One of my hair, my hair stylist, the pe the person that did my my hair for prom, she was doing my hair like for she did my hair for years. She wasn't open at the time, right? And I couldn't um, wait for her because at the time I had to take a sesseride. If anybody knows what a sesseride is, hey, and you know that. They are not patient with their uh, customers and stuff like that. So, I really didn't need to take a sesame right there. But where my grandmother lived, I wanted to be safe. But I ended up walking home anyway, which was, like, pointless at the point at that point. So, I paid for a cut and a washing set because I already had part in my hair. So... I showed her the picture of what I wanted. The the other person who I went to. It was another a totally different shop. She cut my hair. And this is why I'm natural now. Because my hair has never grown back the, the same way ever since. She cut my hair. And left a piece hanging like this. As you can see. It was like, like that. It was just stupid. And I was just like, leave it. Whatever. So then... I wound up walking home. I didn't take a sesame ride home. I, I wound up walking back to my grandmother's house. It was very hot that day. So that's why you see my hair looking the way that it does. Because it didn't look like that when I got off the chair. It was bumped. It was cute. But I started sweating. <laughs> and my hair started to go. Brrr. So it was over since then. Um, I've cut my hair. I actually cut my hair. I did a big chop last year. Cut it just. Well, not like that. I cut it. I cut the a piece off because it was driving me crazy. Um, I rocked that hairstyle for a good couple of months until it grew back. So, but I'll never do it again. Open it. I'll never do it again. Ever. Period. Never again. And I hope she sees this one day. You did a horrible job on my head. Like this video. Make sure that you comment, subscribe, share, 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 share. And I might do another. I might do another reaction to photos because I have a lot. So I'm gonna see y'all later. Yeah, you were impressed. Couldn't leave me alone. Text me every time